Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 38 of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series. Uh, where today, I don't know what to do with our uh, mob farm here, to be honest with you. Now that I'm thinking about it and looking over here, um, I'm pretty sure I had this thing running. Yeah, it's still trying to back stuff on pink slime. I guess I could just let it keep going. How is our meat feeder? Doing pretty darn good. Yeah, we can just have this back stuff on pink slime and then this back stuff on pink slime. And then once all that is said and done, we'll turn this off, turn back on our mob drop generator and go from there. Um, yeah, OK, I like the sound of that. Um, anyway, last episode, we were working on power and getting power set up, which we did. We got a nice and automated for our energizing orb here um, and then. We found out that uh, the recipe changed for uraninite, and it is no longer uranium into uraninite. It only comes from the block of uraninite ore, which comes from a laser drill. Got to have a laser drill at a uh, minimum Y level of 4, max of 36, with a green laser lens in any biome will get us uraninite ore. Um, what is the recipe for you and the recipe for you? I don't even know. Yeah, you guys don't even exist, really. It's just this one. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate. And then there is uraninite seeds, which we can make, but it requires uraninite and supremium, which supremium we would be able to get to. Like, I have been putting it off, like, but we have 54,000 inferium. We'd be able to get to supremium. I really should set up um automation of inferium to supremium because it's easier to go down than it is up when you're auto crafting uh it's or it's faster to go down than it is up when, when auto crafting but yeah um yeah anyway let's get going so we need to make um let me clear out our i did the enchantment sorter keep the reactor and we're going to keep these because eventually we're going to end up going to the end to get you know, some dragon's breath. So I want to keep those around. Um, yeah, we need to get a laser drill and an ore laser base set up from Industrial 4 going so that we can start working on it. I did go ahead and upgrade our lava power over here um, to the integral components and it didn't help much. So yeah, we're probably going to end up having to shut off our triple ore processing. I, I just, I shouldn't have set this up like this. I should not have done elite I could even just break this and set it up back up and then save this elite purifying factory for later. But, oh, 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 I mean, I could just do that and then it'll let all the rest of this stuff finish, which it already did. And then we should, you know, be good on power. It just means our refined storage system is going to be filling up with uh, those chunks. But look at that. Remember two episodes ago, we were at 46,000. We have now cleared through a huge backlog of our pieces. Uh, man. Once that backlog clears up, though, this thing won't be running as fast as it was. Like, it'll only run as needed, so whatever. Let's let it go, see what happens. We'll see where we end up. Anyway, crafting. Um, we need to make these laser drills and ore laser bases, so... We have some stuff we need to teach the system. Um, we already know how to make diamond gears and advanced machine frames, so that is great. Let's get a diamond pickaxe cooked up. And control click the rest of the stuff that we need. Oh, good thing we have iron chunks in the system because we need the raw ores. Did not think of that. Come on. I don't want those iron ores to get dumped into the system. Okay. Ooh. Safe. I don't even know how many of those we had. We probably have like thousands. Yeah. Um, anyway, or laser base. Um, and then we just need some laser drills, which should be fairly easy. I'm going to actually teach the system how to make these because we need. We'll start out with four. If you saw my last playthrough when we did Enigmatica six. Um, actually, I don't want. Let's clear that. Uh, gold gears. We want these gold gears from thermal. Uh, so let's do this and this, put you back in there. We also want this diamond gear. Everything else good? Yeah. Okay. And then you're a standard craft. Um, 
anyway, you can set up as you can set up a bunch of laser drills to get everything done. So you don't have to. Uh, it's not only four and most YouTubers I've seen only set up four and they they're done with it. That's all they set up. Um, but you can set up way more than that. Just keep in mind, each one of these laser drills does use a thousand RF a tick or a thousand RF a process. I don't know if it's per tick, but it's a lot of power essentially that these things are going to be using. So, um, you got to keep that in mind if they're fully upgraded. Yeah. Something like that. Um, so let's figure out where we want to put this. Um, I'm going to think like, you know, right here. Why not? It's seems like the perfect spot for this other than the fact that it covers up my glowstone there, but we can, uh, we can solve that. Um, the laser drills are going to go here. So let's do this. And then let's get some glowstone. And you know what? We're just gonna, instead of having one, we'll just have, you know, four. Bam, 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 bam. And then that way this guy can go back there and we're good to go. Um, so let's get our laser drills. These do have directionality um, and they do have to be within the vicinity of the ore laser base. So what you want to do is place them and then they will tell you if it can't find its target, but it finds its target. You can see these little particles going into the uh, base. Like If I place this down immediately, target not found, but eventually it will switch over. And like I said, they do have directionality. There's a little hole facing that has to face here. They do not have to be... Um, uh, like directly touching it. So like if I were to place this here, it will find it. And that's where you can set up. So you can actually, if you preview, I thought this had the laser base, maybe the laser drills. Yeah, it has a working area for the drill. So you can see, you can have an ore laser base anywhere inside of this. So basically what you can do is fill up a cube that size, it's a three by three cube with laser drills and it will uh, mine and do the thing. And the more laser drills you have, the faster it goes. Now, for symmetry purposes though, we're gonna go ahead and set this up over here for now. And then we can expand upon this later if needed. We already have a lot of resources being generated. I don't know exactly what other resources the ore laser base gets us. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. These do require power. So we are going to go ahead and, you know, pop under here. We're going to get a flux point. And bam. And then we're going to get our pipes, energy pipes. Um, and we're going to get a no improved tier. Sure. I think, I think that should be enough. All right, so let's pop down here. Let's place this. And then before we do that, let's break the bottoms from up here. Because doing it while flying is going to uh, be a pain. Land, please. I love these stairs that I put around. They look nice, but uh, they make flying pain sometimes. Especially with hover mode on. Okay, so that can go there, there, and there. Um, and actually I'm going to drop it, well, whatever, it just means I have to do more clicking. Shift in there. Okay. And then boop, 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 and then boop. We'll break that back up top. Really wish I had creative flight, but that's okay. We'll get there. Bam, and then I need my morphing tool. And then all of these guys need to get set to extract, 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 extract. And this guy, output network, and you are or laser drills. Let's not fall down into the void. So those should now be getting power, yes. Yes, maybe. Um, they should be getting power. It's because we don't have enough power that they're not. Uh, you did not belong there. And then, shabam. Yeah, they, oh man. All right, let's go shut that thing off because 
Uh, oh, I forgot to put the. Oh, that's why I only did that. Son of a gun. Let's uh, let's fix this. We only want one. I don't want to have to put four upgrades in every time. So let's do that, and then that, and then that, and that. Okay. Extract. Do the thing. Do the thing. Okay. How do I get out of here? Uh, there's my hole. Bam. Okay. So these should eventually start getting power. Uh, excuse me, Dank. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. Let's uh, let's go up top and let's go shut off our mechanism thing. It's It literally is all of our power being drained here. And so those aren't even able to start filling up with power. So just, just turn off. I'll let it run in between episodes and start trying to clear that back stuff. Um, now you guys are getting power. No? Is power to see? Do you guys not need power? You do. Let's see what happens. We need to get a lens inside of here. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. It's interesting that they are not filling up with power though. Um, so specifically for uraninite, if we want to focus that, we need a green laser lens. And in order to do so, we get a dissolution chamber um, with green dye, latex, and then just some, some plates. Doesn't matter what plates. Uh, or panes, I mean. Um, so if we take these and we replace that with those, and then we say green dye instead of green dye plate. Bam, that'll make us a green laser lens. And then this will kick off the process for this thing. And then we can see what the heck is going on with the power, because it's very interesting that it's not, um, no power is going into those machines. Um, Green laser lens. And then while that's cooking, let's go downstairs. I just want to, I want to try something. What if I throw a flux point onto these specifically? Do these need power from the back? Do they not accept power from the front or the bottom? That's a possibility. Output. And that's the answer. Really? Is that going to be the answer? Uh, well, I can't test with that one because I hooked that flux point up to it, but let's do these ones. Yep, that. Oh, no, they all filled up. Okay. Oh, okay. They filled up because I turned off the mechanism thing. Now I just wasted time. And you turn off. Okay, well, at least we know that it's working. I broke the wrong one again. Well, that small diversion allowed a, the green laser lens to finish. Aha. Okay, so if we look at uraninite again, and we say, okay, you are found between Y level 4 and Y level 36. Uh, and it's got a weight of seven. Now you have this, you have multiple lenses that you can put into here. So we can put green laser lens. It's going to focus on this color, green. Um, and then we set this down to Y level 36 before it finishes. And we should start working on getting, um, let's do 20. Sure. It should start working towards getting us uraninite. Let's see what happens. And what do we get? We got Prosperity Orb. It's random what it gets you. And then this progress bar is determined by how many of these guys you have. And they can be speed upgraded. Um, so if we go to Industrial Foregoing and we get our efficiency and add-on, this guy can't take speeds, but he takes efficiency. Yes. So he can have an efficiency. So now he's not going to require as much progress to work. And then these guys can get both. So then basically what you want to do is, you know, upgrade all of your machines to speed and efficiency. So what do I need? I have a speed. I need two more speed, three more efficiency. That and then two more speed. We got a redstone ore. 
And look, now the progress is only 80 because we put that efficiency upgrade. So it is, you know, slightly more efficient than it was before. Um, if we look at the ore laser base in its usage, it has a lot of stuff that it's going to be able to get us. Um, and then the different lenses determine, you know, what you're going to get, but you're still going to get all the stuff. It just changes the weight. Like if you were to put, I think there's like a uh, white or clear even. No clear. If you put white, I think white is the uh, generic, like it doesn't, uh, doesn't affect things maybe. Um, but yeah, it just depends, you know, you're still going to get all of this stuff. It's just the color of the lens that you put in there determines the weight of what you're going to get from the, uh, the generation. So it can take quite a while for you to get the stuff that you're looking for. Um, but we're getting dimensional shard ore, iron ore, like, you know, all kinds of stuff, just not the stuff that we are looking for, which is uraninite. So basically what this is telling me is we need to get uraninite and get enough and then start working towards getting the seeds because that is going to be a guaranteed way for us to get this going. Um, so that is going to be our goal. So I think now while we're going to we're going to let this run um, and let's get an ender chest on this guy. Or you know what, let's get a diamond chest. And then we'll just let it start filling up. Uh, so we're going to say the output push to the top. And we'll let the diamond chest start filling up and then see how much of that uraninite we end up getting. Um, and then eventually we can start pushing into our system there. What we need to do, though, is start working towards automating our inferium. Um, so that way we can start, you know, we can make those uraninite seeds. Because those are a tier 5 seed, which we don't have yet. It requires supremium to do. But getting Supremium is not going to be difficult. Um, we just need to, uh, you know, set up some automations for this. So let's see. Storage and automations. You are kind of getting full. Unfortunately, yeah, you are getting pretty darn full with your stuff here. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to set up crafters from RF Tools, right? RF Tools Crafter. And we are going to have a crafter. And we may be able to get through with doing one. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a crafter. And let's just let's just start this and see where we end up. With a flux point. Um, we're going to have an importer. Uh, yeah, we'll have an importer. But we're also going to have an exporter. That's the one I wanted. And we're going to go. OK, so let's go ahead. We'll set this up here. We're going to get power onto this bad boy here. And we are going to say this is on the output network. And this is our um, Supremium Crafter. So what we're going to do is go through the tiers. And unfortunately, um, it's going to be a pain. We need to really get this master infusion crystal to start with. And here's the reason we're doing it this way, because you may be thinking, the Andrada, why don't you just set up auto crafting in your refined storage system to get to the tiers that you need? And I will explain why right now. So let's say, for example, if we look at mystical agriculture, we have our different essences, correct? We have inferium, prudentium, tertium, imperium, or tertium. I'm going to go with tertium, imperium, and supremium. And in order to get to the next tier, so we have Inferium Essence, and we're just creating Inferium Essence. Um, in order to get to Prudentium, if we look at it, okay, so we take four Inferium and an Infusion Crystal, and we can do this. Keep in mind, we have an Infusion Crystal in our system right now. Okay, right? There's an Infusion Crystal sitting right here, 988 uses left. So if I take this recipe and we say, okay, it's in there, it'll make 988. We're going to have to deal with that at some point. But if I go over here and I put this into our system and then I say, hey, Mr. System, make me a Prudentium ore, it's not going to work. It's going to tell me it needs an Infusion Crystal. Make me 64 of these. I'm missing 64 Infusion Crystals. Because the Infusion Crystal has NBT data and... Yeah, because it has NBT data and every time you use it, it goes down. The refined storage is expecting a brand new infusion crystal for every single one of the crafts. It's not going to work. 
let me just tell you that now, it ain't going to work. So we need to work towards getting ourselves the Master Infusion Crystal. And the Master Infusion Crystal is not too difficult. We just got to get ourselves up to Supremium Essence and the Supremium Gemstone. So in total, we're going to need six Supremium Essence, okay? Once we get to the Master Infusion Crystal, we can put that into this refined storage crafter that we have. Um, and then that will handle the upgrades to all the different tiers. Shabam, shaboom, shabla. And then refined storage can break it down because once you get up to a higher tier, breaking it down is as simple as putting, you know, if we got Prudentium and we wanted to break it down. Do I have any Prudentium? No. Uh, but anyway, you just put the one in here, bam, it breaks down into its, uh, you know, lower tiers. Uh, there. So you put one in there, breaks down into four, and then you can craft down easy. Does that make sense? Does everything I'm saying make sense? I hope so. So anyway, um, I'm going to take that craft out because it is not going to work at the moment. And we are just going to reset it. Boop. That was not correct. There we go. How we doing? Have we gotten any Uraninite yet? Uh, X Petrified Ore. That stuff explodes. But it gives you those Stella things. Nope. It's only a weight of seven. And I believe the more green lenses you put in there, the higher chance you have of getting the stuff you need. So let's put in, you know, let's put in... There was one, two, three, four, five, six, I think there was eight slots. Let's put seven of them in, sure. We have the 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 ingredients available to do that. Let's just, let's just do that real quick. Nope, not you, go away. Okay. I, th I believe you can put more than one of the same kind of lens in there and then it'll really focus it. So that gives us like a 60% chance now or a weight of seven times six is 54, 54% chance to get your uraninite or green colored items. Yeah, something. Anyway, we'll find out. Back to what we were doing, Supremium. So what we need to do is get our go back to our crafter here, okay? Um, so storage and automations. Um, actually, we need to get up to Supremium tier first. So let's go ahead and do that. So how many of those Supremium Essences that I need? Um, I'm trying to think. Would it be easier? This is going to be a pain. It will be a pain to auto-craft these. Let's see what happens if I used our regular Infusion Crystal inside of this for now. We'll have to adjust the recipes, but that's okay. We're going to say take that and then our recipes we're gonna set up. So we're gonna say, okay, at Mystical Agriculture, we need Prudentium Essence, right? So we're gonna say, Prudentium, you're here. You're gonna use this Infusion Crystal. We'll see how this works going forward. So that's Prudentium. Um, and we want the result of the crafting operation to stay in the input buffer. Yes. Yeah, we want everything to stay inside of the input buffer. Okay, apply. So that's Prudentium. We've got Tertium. Internal, apply. And then we have Imperium. Internal, apply. And then Supremium. Internal, apply. Oh, son of a gun. Internal, apply. And then you are Imperium. Internal apply. Okay, so that is all of the essences. So now if I take some of this Inferium, will this actually do the thing? Yes, it does. Okay, so it's okay with using this Infusion Crystal. So what I need to do is get up to the six, Imperium, six Supremium so that I don't have to keep filling this up with uh, Infusion Crystals. So what we're going to do is say we need to import... We need to import, um, wow, my mind is blinking, uh, this stuff, Inferium Essence, and then we need to, we'll end up exporting Supremium from this. Uh, and I kind of didn't set this up in a very nice way. Let's move this to the top, and that way we can set an importer and an exporter up. Importer, exporter. 
Exporter can go on the bottom. Importer can go in the front. We just need one cable to bridge the two. Where's my cables at? Bam, and then I need to get out of here. Oh, I didn't even need that cable because it's going to bridge off of there. So let's uh, do that. That's fine. Bam. Okay. Um, so the exporter is going to export Inferium. Luckily, we can just do this. So I don't have to worry about it. So you are going to start pumping Inferium into there, but we want speed upgrades. Uh, first off, stack. Let's get that cooked. Just one. And then speed. That way it doesn't use the speed upgrades that we're making for the stack upgrade. And at refine, give me the speed and stack. Speed, stack. It's going to dump. And we're going to get a bunch of Supremium. Ah, in the Supremium, I want to go to the external buffer. Yes. Uh, and what happened is, is we ran out of room. Um... Okay, what we need to do is turn off that. We need to set this up so that it remembers. Okay, so you are going to go to that slot. You can go to that slot. Um, I need some Prudentium. Let's set you to the external buffer real quick. Yes, do the thing. So there's Prudentium, Tertium, Imperium, and Supremium. Okay. Turn this back on. And you're still going to stay internal. Internal, internal, external, but the infusion crystal is going to stay in the uh, inventory. So let's go to here. Let's get our infusion crystal back. And we're going to put this here. And then we're going to put Prudentium, and then Tertium, and then Imperium, and then Supremium. And then we're going to remember the current items. That way, the slots don't get taken up by the uh, Inferium Essence. So now if we turn this on, it's going to process just like that. Make sense? Um, and actually, the Supremium doesn't even need to be there. We can do that. Uh, son of a gun. And it's doing this thing again. Hmm, I need I need another Prudentium. I darn did mess that up. Because this Supremium slot is superfluous. I mean, it doesn't hurt to be there. It doesn't really matter. It's just, it's one less slot for Inferium Essence. Uh, it doesn't matter. What's going to happen is all the Supremium will go in here. It'll get imported and then we'll be okay. Right? You're importing. Yeah, you're importing. Okay, cool. And the infusion crystal ran out, which is what we were not wanting to happen. It basically just blew through all 1,000 uses of that. But Supremium, we ended up with 11, which is enough to make our master infusion crystal. Uh, which is what our goal was here. So let's go ahead and do this. We need a Prosperity Diamond. And then we need a Supremium Diamond. Or Gemstone, sorry. And then this is now a Master Infusion Crystal. Unlimited uses. We don't have to worry about running out. So with that being said, we now need to go in here and change all of these recipes to use the Master Infusion Crystal. And then we're going to do this, bam. And then we are going to go ahead and forget the remembered layout. And we're going to put this guy here. No, excuse me. You're going to go there. Stop processing. Give me that back. You're going to go there. Remember the layout now. And then now, bam, we're good to go. Uh, so the infusion crystal will stay. Everything's going to stay internal. Uh, you are also internal. And now if we turn this on, we're going to be getting Supremium for days. Basically, it's going to pump all of our Inferium into this. And we are burning through 500R of a tick. 
and you're running out of power, not sure what's going on. What is using power? You're, there's nothing. Look, we're inputting 3000 RF and our refined storage system is using 2000. Why are you unable to keep up with your power? Are you not accepting power from the top? Is that, is that what our issue is? Because that would be very unfortunate and very annoying. Let's see what happens when it runs out of power. And you no, know, it's maintaining. It's just interesting that this is only outputting like it's only accepting 500. The machine's only accept, accepting 500 RF, but it's doing the thing like we're having no problem keeping up and it's going to burn through all of this. Look, we've already burnt through 25,000 of our inferior essence. Like it goes quick, which is why we needed we need so much. Um, but yeah, we're going to have Supremium. We actually have quite a bit now, I'm assuming. Yeah, 117. Not too shabby. Um, yeah, anyway, so that is Supremium Essence, which means we can now, if we get enough of the Uraninite, um, we'll be able to set up Uraninite seeds, and then we can continue working towards our Mechanism Power Reactor. Or Mechanism Power Reactor? Our Power Nuclear Reactor. Um, so yeah, let's see, uh, uraninite. Yes, and we have gotten some. Is this or triple -able? Um No, but an enrichment chamber with this stuff will get us four. So I'm gonna have this stuff dump into an enrichment chamber and get us four of them. And then eventually we're gonna get seeds. So actually that's what we need to get a seed is four. So we can actually uh, get that prepped for next episode. So anyway, that's it for this episode. We're at wrapping up point. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Have a good one.